Hey fellow enthusiasts, if you want to know what the Apostle Paul, Craig Valentine, Bill Hybels, Waylon Jennings, and my dad all have in common, then this video is for you. Here we go. Hey fellow enthusiasts, this is Tommy Lanham and I am on a mission to break the monotony of the mundane and the mediocre by bringing as much enthusiasm to as many businesses, ministries, marriages, and individual lives as I possibly can. <laughs> hey, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 1, Paul is writing to the church in Thessalonica, and he says this in his letter. <clears throat> he says, Finally, brothers, we instructed you in the way to live in order to please God, as in fact you are now living. Now we ask you and urge you in the Lord Jesus to do this more and more. I love what Paul is saying there because first of all, he commends the church in Thessalonica. You're doing a wonderful job. Now, let's do it a little better. Let's grow a little more. Let's be a little more effective. So what does Paul do there? He celebrates the victories, but he doesn't allow those victories to limit them. He urges them to continue doing that more and more. It reminds me of the question that, that Craig Valentine often asks in his presentations when he says, are you too good to be great? It's okay to be good, but continue to move forward. Continue to press on and improve yourself. Bill Hybels talks about having a holy discontent with the status quo. Bill Hybels, he started a church just outside of Chicago back in the 70s. It's Willow Creek Church. Him and just a handful of young people who were full of enthusiasm but had empty pockets. They had almost no money, but they had a desire to start a church to reach unreached people in that area. They stepped out on faith and they started this church they didn't know where the money was coming from or how it was going to work, but they just did it. There was even a time when they went door to door in their neighborhood selling tomatoes just to have enough money to keep this church going. Today, it's one of the largest churches in the world. Why did this happen? Because they had a holy discontent with the status quo. Bill Hybel says that everybody needs to get to their Popeye moment. You remember Popeye? He was a pretty patient guy up to a point, but Popeye would say this, that's all I can stands? I can't stands no more. And then he would pop in his spinach and, and off he would go to save the day. Bill Hybel says each one of us needs to get to our Popeye moment where we say, that's all I can stands? I can't stands no more. And then do whatever you need to do in order to change the reality that you are in. For Bill Hybels, it was reaching people with a gospel that other churches were not reaching. He'd had all he could stand. He couldn't stand no more. And he stepped out on faith. Waylon Jennings, a country singer that passed away a few years ago, Waylon Jennings was being interviewed and it was right after he'd released a new album. And the interviewer asked him if he was satisfied with the album. And Waylon Jennings looked at the interviewer and he said, no, I'm not. If I ever get satisfied with an album, I'm done. I'm finished. I am of no more use as a country singer. Why? Because no matter how good it is, he always saw how he could make it better, how he could keep pressing forward, how he could keep moving on and improving what it is he had done. I remember as a little kid, and my dad did some carpentry work on the side. He made birdhouses, and he would, he would sell these birdhouses. And I can remember being down in the basement in his workshop where he would put these, these beautiful-looking birdhouses together. But, man, he poured himself into these birdhouses. And I would look at these houses, and I would think, man, this is perfect. But he would continue to feel around the house for rough edges or something that wasn't just right. And we continue to look for
spots or blemishes that were not supposed to be there. And my mom would be upstairs going, hey guys, supper's getting cold. And my dad would say, we'd be up here in a minute. And he'd spend another 20, 30 minutes looking at this birdhouse, which looked like to me it was already finished. But he just wanted to make it better. So what do the Apostle Paul and Craig Valentine and Bill Hybels and Waylon Jennings and my dad, what do they all have in common? They never settled for the status quo. They never said, I have arrived. <clears throat> they were always pressing on to do it better. And when we do that, it will take us beyond our status quo position into somebody more of what God wants us to be. I hope that, that you never settle, that you have that holy discontent with the status quo, that you have your Popeye moment where you say, that's all I can stand, I can't stand no more. And then you do whatever it takes to move beyond that. Because when you do, you will feed your enthusiasm. Hey guys, if you want to become a part of the Fellow Enthusiast community, one of the best ways to do that is to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Go ahead, do it. I know you want to do it. Do it now. Come on.